Scotch lovers. How lovers. you doing? Well, well on, Scotch, Scotch for dummies. Scotch for dummies. Yes. What we got going on? We got something special it's here. Black box. Um, special? It's different. We're getting into something we've never gotten into on a review, and I'm excited to do it. Hmm. So what happened is, what is uh, this stuff? quick little story is uh, we get an email from our favorite liquor store. I got an email. Buying a table. The uh, spirit manager, Dennis, sends an email out that he had scored 24 bottles of this juice. And I'm a pretty busy guy, but when, I, when I read <laughs> what they had, I said, we need to get a bottle of this. Right. So we tried to get four out of the 24 Ooh. that they had, but this sip wasn't going to happen. Oof. Anyway, we ended up getting uh, a few of them, and thankfully we did because uh, we're really Ooh, excited. So what we've got here is something from the Creative oh Whiskey Company, which this is a fairly young company. You said 2004. 2005. 2005. So what the Creative Whiskey Company does is they take um, single cask bottlings. They buy single, single malt. cask, single malt, single casks from distilleries, mm -hmm. and they okay. bottle it under their name. Okay. Sort of like some of the other distributors. Sort of, okay. uh, sort of like a Gordon and McPhail, right. but a Gordon and McPhail might take that and, and Do they more. might buy the new make and then store it on their own for. 30, 40, okay. 50 years, mm. whatever. So these guys, they're buying, they're going into distilleries, certain distilleries, and they're sampling and they're like, we want that, right? And they take that home and they do what they're going to do with it. I, they don't not, they they promise non-chill filtering and, and no added coloring. Okay. And it's all cask strength. Well, that's where really? the exclusive, that's the, they're, so the company, the Creative Whiskey Company, has an exclusive line called the Exclusive Malts. And in that line, they promise to be all cask strength, non-chill filter, no coloring. Like so, they poured it out of the barrel. Right. So anyway, so Dennis strange. calls us, uh, sends us his email and says, you know, got a hold of some juice here that you guys might be interested in. It is a 2007, eight-year-old, distilled at an Isla distillery. Mm. It's I'm a lager. <coughs> That's all we know. <laughs> this is distilled in Iowa. How do you know that? That's uh, what's the rumor? Well, they they weren't allowed to put the distillery's name on the label. They weren't allowed to use the actual distillery's name. I'm telling you what, if you smell it and you don't think it's a log, <laughs> oh, it's definitely a log. <laughs> Something's wrong. Anyway, kind of um, earthy in its peatness. We little, paid little uh, not not one hundred twenty-four dollars for this what's bottle. What's the price? 57.1 ABV. Moly. So it's it's cask strength. Who's got a lighter? Who's got a lighter? Hot as balls. Um, oh, that yeah. smells so good. Now, interestingly enough, the packaging is very oh light. Gosh. That's all you're getting, right? This is spot. You're getting the juice. I mean, you're getting a rubber cat. Uh, the alcohol. Is cork. Yeah. There's no, it's, no frills. But so, how, good Lord have mercy. So so Holy so moly. You know, 57% alcohol, is that right? 57. Yeah, 57. 57. So normally when you stick your nose in a 57, Ooh. you're like your you're nostrils burning. burn off. No. Not. The you're meat not. is balanced with this and it the nose doesn't burn your nose off. I get tangled. So, I so get, <laughs> I, I'm excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I think you know what I, I got on the way here that has an eddy. Believe it or not, I got peanut brittle. Oh my <laughs> just a second. Oh my god, too. Right? The, 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 the toffee. Leftover the toffee. Your school, Hell right. Yeah. Like, maybe, maybe if you threw it in the fire. Concentrated <laughs> toffee is what I'm, I'm smelling, yeah. It is oh, definitely gosh. soft and sweet. I can't believe it's 57 per ABV because it, it, warm. it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's going to be warm on the palate, but in the not in the nose, it's not. It's not killing me. It's a me. very concentrated sugar smell, too. The toffee, sugary, yeah. um, vanilla. It's, it's everything good about stack. Peat, like caramel, smell, right brittle. Yeah, so peanut brittle is, is good. I like that. Analogy. This is surprisingly well balanced. I don't know. What, there's not even age on it. Oh, it's eight, 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 eight year. So light. the, the yeah. first palate coming That's through eight. is not. It's not a punch mm. of face smoke. It's it's sugar. It's brown sugar. Oh, yeah. like a brittle, a peanut, the nuts. Yeah. And then it kind of blends into the Woo. smoke, and the top and the finish. And like salt subtle. and caramel and. Oh, that's the, delicious. The finish is subtle. Goodness. Yeah, it's a subtle smoke. It, Everything blends very nicely in this glass. Ooh, wow, that that is, there's gonna, nothing that stands out this or is a good powers. <laughs> it just flows. Well, it better be for 126 bucks. Well, yeah, but it, it, it holds it. I mean, wow, it's good flavor. I mean, the sweet to the smoke to the peat to the <clears throat> vanilla, toffee. I mean, it, it you actually taste like it smells a little bit. Yeah. Wow. So this tastes it's a got lot a lot going on. It's got some heat though. I mean, the Shit, first it's initial sweet, ABV. and then once it gets to the mid, it, it just smacks you hard. With but it's heat. got so much flavor, even with all of the 
you know, the alcohol that's on there. That's good glass. You're right. I mean, it's honestly. It's an eight-year. It tastes older than that. I mean, it takes a lot I of feel flavor. Right. I feel older, older than it's, that. Well, I think that's because it's a cast strength. I'm, God, it's bold. You know, bold. The, the interesting thing, though, is <laughs> yeah. it, it smells like a lager, but the taste doesn't. I'm not sure. It's, it's, like it's not lager. as earthy and as. Mm -mm. I mean, hints of it. Really? i, I got to be honest. To me, it. I honestly, it, if you didn't tell me what I was drinking, I would say I was drinking that Lagavulin 8 200 anniversary at cask strength. Okay, I, I, I can see that. Yeah, the 8th was good. I mean, it's good, but it wasn't 57, you know, no. ABV. You, you, you not ratchet that thing up to that's this. That's not a bad comparison. That, that's I like that one. And because There's no doubt it's going to that. hold water. Oh, I've got I put a big old <laughs> thing of water on it, man. <laughs> that nose is, man, that nose is great. Gosh. Um, I didn't even play with it. The balance so, of the nose is Interestingly, amazing. you know, it's it's tough oh, for us yeah. to do a review on a bottle like this because I don't know the availability, the, the fact that you yeah. guys are... There was only 200 not, bottles yeah. of this particular cask. Right, so, in the world. Right. so this cask produced 200 bottles. But I think what I want to relate to, to you guys watching is that even if you can't get this bottle, don't be afraid to explore some of these kinds of bottlings um, from, from companies like this, from your Gordon and McPhail's, from your... Creative whiskey from companies Scott that are Bruce doing. Decided. There's lots of lots of companies. Yeah, oh, and yeah. you know, don't go out there uneducated and just start spending money. You might get lucky. You probably won't. Or I shouldn't say well, probably. You might yeah. not. But if you if you educate yourself on what's out there and start to get to know just it, just look at our reviews. You can find you can find some steals. I mean, you can yeah. find some really interesting scotches that are under a label that's not you know popular or isn't catching your eye, and it's under a cheap box, you know. And, and then all of a sudden you taste and you're like, Whoop. that's right. What, what we got here? Well, actually, in that bottle? <laughs> our spreadsheet in our description below actually has a, a rating system in there, so you can use that as well when you go to try, try and buy whiskey or right. whatever scotch you want. And if you go to their website, the Creative Whiskey Company's website, they actually have spreadsheets that you can scroll through of their bottlings, so you can sort of get a better idea of what. But they're very are small production, small. but. They're also very exclusive stuff. It sounds like they're very picky about what they put in the bottle. Yeah, um, Man, especially under their exclusive. So, so, that's, uh, and so that's the key: is these these um, alternate dis or alternate bottlers. They're not gonna. Their name is everything they put on the bottle. They're not relying on a brand, that, so they're not gonna give you garbage and charge you one hundred twenty-five dollars for it. Yeah, it's I mean just, they literally don't even have on the label. Who distilled that? I think it's Ardbeg. Really? Yeah. It's not earthy enough distilled to be Distilled at an me. Isla. But distilled we don't know. Hey, Isla. It's well, it. your guess is as good as mine because Ardbeg's on Isla. I mean, we've yeah, got, exactly. what, six or seven to choose from? <laughs> Eeny, exactly. meeny, mighty. I'm sure someone will let us know. They know the yeah, facts. Know. But All right. So, who I'm gonna, gets to start? I, I, I haven't. I'm not ready yet. All right. Who's up? Sean, you ready yet? I'm good, man. I'm ready. Sean is up. All right. So, cask strength, 57%. Uh, it's, it's a punch in the gut, it is. I mean, that's a lot of alcohol in a glass. But this held up very nicely. Um, the flavors came out even over that alcohol, which is saying something for the scotch. I put quite a bit of water on there. I'm going to say about 40%. Um, so, I mean, I gave it a healthy hit. It's <laughs> it it wow. held everything about that. The flavor profile didn't diminish mm. at all. Um, it just bounced right back. I get all of that sweet, all of that peanut brittle, all of the caramel, the salt, the sea yes. spray. Preach Everything it. is still Preach in that it. glass. <laughs> Preach it! <laughs> now, you know, I'm, I'm not going to really ding it on the price because it's an exclusive bottling. You know what I mean? Like, there's only 200 bottles. If you can get one, get is it, one. Is it you know what I mean? Well, yeah. I, I absolutely... I, I think it depends on your budget and what you like. If you are willing to spend $125 yeah. for a bottle that's a one-time deal, you're not going to be able to get it again. No, you know, you're not going to be able to go back to the store and buy it. Yep. So if you love it, that's all you have. Yep. And if you hate it, that's all you have. Good bottle. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I think it just kind of is what it is. You know, it's unique bottling. Mm -hmm. You know, from a cast, you will not get to try this again. And to me, that's special. Yeah. You know, they dumped all of the liquor out of this one cask they put it in 200 bottles and that was all there was to sell that's cool yeah so i enjoyed this glass i'm gonna give it a three I, it held everything i, I love the flavor profile neat you know with water everything about it was good yep. i'm a big fan okay. of this okay. i'm gonna be over to your house when i get done with my bottle i know <laughs> are you ready you want someone else to go i'm not ready i'm not ready 
I'm not ready. I, I was just gonna ask if I can. Right. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm not made up. Because I am ready. I'll go next. You talk first. So, so this is this is a good bottle, and and part of what we're learning as Scotch for Dummies is the balance that you can put into a bottle and balance that isn't there in some awkward scotches, and this this really does do a good job of balancing. I mean, you smell the peat, but then you smell the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And and so they don't they haven't over peated it so it's all crazy and gonna burn your burn your eyeballs out with peat but you get to pull that brown sugar and literally that is the smell I'm pulling out of it right now after I've tasted it after I've drunk it I'm not getting uh, there's a little bit of peat on the nose but mostly it's that brown sugar richness coming out then it comes across your palate you get a little bit of sweetness but I'm getting more smoke in the palate than than I am in the nose and the finish it's a little dry in the mouth it is a little hot but it's 57 percent i mean come on how many bourbons can you drink 57 percent without just lighting your hair on fire <laughs> so so that so being an eight-year-old scotch at 125 dollars it's expensive mm -hmm. but what they've done with this i don't know how they've done it in eight years um so i'm going to give it a three as well it is pricey i would give it maybe a little higher if it was a lower lower pricing but a three because it's well balanced. It's um, it's not particularly complex. It's got some some sugar and some peat and but it's not like richness of florals that blend into the other other flavors. So it, it's fairly two dimensional maybe. I think it's well balanced though. It is, like that's it is the balanced. best in, part. In the two flavors, it's it's well balanced. Yeah. So yeah. Three. So I'm gonna go and you kind of stole my thunder a little bit. I was gonna go with <laughs> a high mark there, and I still may. Um, you're right about one thing is 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 it complex? It is a little bit, but not to where I want to give a super high mark, right? Mm -hmm. But I will agree with you. That's, I've been the whole time. It's balanced really well on the nose and on the palate. I mean, it's delicious. I love mm -hmm. everything about this. This is why I love scotch, right? <laughs> Amen to that. This is a good scotch. Now, here's the problem. 120 bucks, everything else, yeah, God, it's expensive. But you know what? It's this is a good scotch. It's an exclusive scotch. You, you, whatever it is, I love it. Really good. I'm gonna go three five. I think it's delicious, guys. Wow. Wow. No, because the nose, neat, and with water, exactly the same. I almost it, maybe it even better with water, guys. And the I palate, would agree that the water, water, the balance, water that the down. water takes the heat down just enough where it's the the sweetness, the toffee, the caramel, the sugar, the brown sugar. Maybe it hits you right up front and it rolls back in this smooth little smoky peat. <laughs> Delicious. It's still lingering. It's a great scotch. Can you tell he's passionate about I this? I love this one. one. <laughs> it, it is a good bottle. All right, bro. All right. Okay, so you good? I've been teetering. We, gotta pause and come yeah, back? we need to pause. We need to pause. We've been teetering. One and a half. I've been teetering, and I've gone back and forth in this number for three reviews, <laughs> just like you, and I'm not, I'm still stuck on what I'm going to do, so I'm going to try to talk myself through this and figure out what I want to do. Well, I got a few I love minutes, it. Dude, All right, so out of time. Obviously, <laughs> it's hot. It's 57. I absolutely love the nose on this neat and loved the palate on it neat outside of 57. You know, percent ABV, right? Um, you you <laughs> let go of that. Pull your skirt man. Stop, stop. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Exactly. Versus Forget that, that, that. Taste it, and it is Too just absolutely delicious. I love the palate. Um, I love the nose. I put water on it. Nose didn't change at all. No. Initially. No, the palate did. The palate softened up, and I actually mm. lost some of the flavor on the palate. And oh, that's when I was coming back down bigger. to the three, oh. right? And I was like, all right, I'm 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 gonna have to give it three. And then I let it sit here. Let listen to these guys talk for a minute. Put my nose back in, and I started getting a little bit of flow. There, not I say I got a little bit of a jasmine in it. I was like, where did this come from? Put it back down, let it sit a little, and got a different nose. And anyway, Spike, don't set no hook. You back off. Set the hook. Anyway, the last sip I took is the last review is coming in, and I get I get the palate, and it's back. It's not lost. It's not watered down like it was. So. It, 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 uh, it inched me back up. I really appreciate what's going on in this. I mean, I I really don't care what they put in it. It comes from, I know it came from that island because I can taste oh, it. Yeah. But um, I'm really glad we took a chance on it. I'm going to give it a 3.5. I really do love it. I, I, I honestly, <laughs> it's going to, I, one thing I really like about it is it's going to last a long time. Mm -hmm. At 57%, this is going to be a bottle I'm going to enjoy. Yep. Right, I'm going to yeah. enjoy this bottle for a long time. For a splash and damn right, I'm water. going to enjoy it because it's enjoyable. They're doing a good job. It's great. I like what they have. Yeah, they have other bottles, right? They do have other bottles. And we, I think oh, we might get bottles. into a few 
two of those already. I think that um, they're on the list. But oh, so okay. be be on the lookout for for the Creative Whiskey Company. Where are you at, guys? Um, I bet we enjoy this. Three two three five. Weeks. I'm gonna three five. <laughs> three. Three. Three five. Three. So three, so two, three five. two five. This guys. is one of our highest Wild rated scotches, guys. And it's up there. And I feel bad because I don't know if you can go out and get it, but if you can, but pick yeah. it up. And if you can't, go ahead and look for Great. other There's offerings by right. these. Obviously, the exclusive malts, right. they're doing something right. This right. is a really good bottle. Right. Yeah, they did good. They're it's not the same, just throwing, it's the same they're not throwing so. crap in Hey, guys, there please subscribe. Like, like us right now. And remember, every Thursday Hit night, subscribe button. we're live on YouTube. So check and us we out. And we love seeing you. Yeah, we'd love to talk to you guys. So get on. Get a glass. Flip the bar. Chat with us. Cheers. Cheers.